you think of facial tissue, you think Kleenex. Cotton swabs, Q-tips, video chat, Skype. There are other brands. Procter & Gamble would love you to think of puffs when you blow your nose. Note to P&G, nobody's ever gonna say, can you hand me a puff? The same is close to true for smartphones. There's Apple, there's Samsung, but other brands are getting creative in hopes of taking over some of your smartphone mindshare. First, a little startup you may have heard of, Google. What is that? Man, I don't know. As Google. Forget the Nexus, which never really caught on. With the Pixel, Google has controlled everything, and the early reviews are good. It's here, your new Pixel. If there's a main differentiator here, it's the built-in, seamless integration of Google's suite of web-based services. Hi, how can I help? The Pixel runs Android and starts at $649. Next, another little engine that could, the Amazon Blue. What sets the Amazon Blue apart is price. If you're willing to live with all the ads, it starts at just 60 bucks. That's right, you can buy it for less than three months of payments on a Samsung you can't even take on a plane. With a relatively small volume of owning, the line of blue phones have Amazon ratings that range from meh to a solid four stars. Finally, don't call it a comeback. Remember when the Razer was the faux shizzle? That was Motorola, and they're making a creative push with the Moto Z. Hello, Moto. The selling point for the Moto is mods, modular components that snap onto the phone with strong magnets, turning it into a projector, a boombox, or a better than your normal cell phone camera. Different gives you a 10 times optical zoom. Wow. An unlocked Moto Z is 700 bucks, and the mods run from 80 to $300. Hey, Samsung and Apple make great phones, but don't limit your shopping to just two brands, because finding the phone that fits for you is what's the deal.